Hey guys, this is Kenjido and welcome to another Make Shop Pro video. Today we're going to talk about guides. Now there's a fair amount of information out there on how to use guides. Guides are pretty straightforward in terms of how you use them in their basic capabilities. Uh, to be completely honest, a uh, majority of this video is really going to be just about um, a shameless plug for a set of scripts that I've written to make using guides easier and to provide some extended capability. And these scripts will be available for folks who become patrons on my Patreon page. All of the things that they do can be done manually. It's just probably less accurate and a lot harder to do. But becoming a patron means you get access to all existing scripts, these scripts, and any scripts I create in the future. So let's get into it. So to demonstrate the basic capabilities of guides, I have just a basic image that's empty. And uh, going into the view menu, uh, everything's turned off. So rulers, grid, guides, and um, snapping, all of that stuff is off. So to do just the basic level of working with guides, first thing is to turn on the rulers. And then you can see that what looks like a ruler appears on the vertical and horizontal axes. Then what we can do is say guides. And what this do is this at least enables the visibility of it. So even if you have guides or you've drawn guides, if that's not checked, then you won't see them. So now in this context, although I consider this fairly counterintuitive, if you want to create a guide that runs up and down, you actually grab from the horizontal axis and drag it into view. And you can see it's this light blue bar and you can always grab it again you know, after it's in position to move it where you want it to be. And you can have as many of these as you like, and you can position them where you want them to be. In the same way, if I want horizontal guides, then I have to grab from the top and then drag down. And that's the basic operation of guides. They're really meant to help with composition. If you do decide to want to use them for like clicking positions and maybe setting nodes and vector objects, you can turn on snap and then in that case, when you try to do a draw, you can click and it's going to automatically hit those points where those guides are. So it can help you with drawing in that kind of way. Now, the interesting thing is that if you want to remove a guide, you just drag it all the way to zero. And But if you have several guides, that can be kind of painful. But you can always go to the grid guide snap properties and then in guides, you can just say delete all guides, and then all of them will go away. Now, from what I've seen, Corel provides at least two scripts for guides. Um, there's the golden ratio and the rule of thirds. And these essentially, when you run them, are going to draw guides according to those specific set of rules. Um, one thing that is interesting, though, if you do rule of thirds and then decide you want to do golden ratio, running these scripts doesn't remove the existing guides. So you'll always have to clear them yourself if you want to do a new set or make up your own. So with that said, I'd like to just go over some of the scripts that I've created for guides. And that way you'll understand how they work. And if it seems like something that you feel like would be beneficial for yourself, um, you could become a patron and get access to those scripts. So right now I'm showing all the different guide scripts that I've created. There's two groups. There's the standard guides, and these make use of the guides that I just showed you. And then there's a set of three guides that are called VEC type guides. And what makes these different is that it's actually drawing vector lines to create the guides rather than using the traditional PaintShop Pro guide. So they actually manifest as a layer in your picture and they're a little bit different. So, but going back to the guides that PaintShop Pro provides, um, I have a similar type of guide, except the difference in mine is um, it performs a clear before every time you run one of those. So instead of having to manually delete, it will delete the previous existing guides for you and draw the new ones. As well, I've added a crosshair one, which just allows you to see the center of your image by cutting through the middle horizontally and vertically. As well, looking at the top here, this set, if you want to add a guide in a specific axis and you know exactly where you want it to be, because normally just dragging, you have to eyeball it. But if you know exactly where on, say, the 
vertical plane you want to draw a horizontal guide you can just enter the value into this dialog and it'll draw the guide in exactly that position now in the case of using these add horizontal and add vertical those do not remove any guides that are currently existing however i do have a script that is called clear all and no matter what guides you have in place just by running that removes them all as well i have a border guide and what this does is it'll ask you how big do you want your border to be and then it'll draw a set of guides that creates a border for you so for example um, if you have enabling if you have snap to guides enabled and you wanted to draw a border using this method this is a very simple way that makes it easy and you'll see that this actually can be beneficial if you're trying to do something like a reverse contour to cut out a box in an image but essentially that's what this guide provides is a manually setting evenly distributed border based on the number you enter so that's all of the standard guides that are all script based so now let's get into the vector based guides so the the key here is that standard guides in paint shop pro can't draw diagonally so for example if we wanted to have a guide that does an x across the whole image this script will do that but notice it creates a vector object and it just draws lines to act as a guide you can turn it on and off just like you would any other layer and then you would just want to make sure to not do any operations on this as you're working on your image the next vector guide is the golden triangle i've seen that this is a guide that's available in photoshop and in other places it's a pretty standard composition type of guide and it, it maintains the idea that from the corner to the diagonal, it maintains a 90 degree wherever these lines cross, which basically means that if I were to have a different sized image, for example, and I were to run it again, it's going to adjust those lines based on maintaining that 90 degree and the lines across the corner. And since it's a separate layer, if you needed to change, you know, which, which direction it's going, uh, you can always do mirroring of the layer. Finally, the last is the golden spiral. So if you've ever seen like a Nautilus curve or whatnot, this essentially is doing that same thing. And just like with the golden triangle, if you need to, you know, rearrange it since it's a vector object you can mirror it or rotate the image or do whatever you need to get that spiral to show up where you want now this is a case where there's guides and the vector object the guides are only going to be drawn for the original orientation and once you have the curve you can pretty much get rid of the guides and then just work with the curve the guides are really just there to help um, visualize what the golden ratios are so that's it. That's my set of guides. I've tried to extend the capability beyond what's already provided by PaintShop Pro with these scripts. Again, much of this can be done manually if you really, really wanted to, but uh, the scripts are intended to just really make these operations a lot quicker and a lot simpler. And if you'd like to get access to it, there's going to be a link in the description that can take you to the Patreon page that is where you would download these scripts if you are already a patron. So that's it for me. I plan to produce more scripts, like the next pack that I'm working on is a pack that, uh, a script pack that is going to provide a lot of extra vector graphic operations. So look for that in a coming video. And as always, if you have any questions or if you have any requests in terms of scripts or scripts relating to guides, feel free to leave a comment. If you'd like to get updates on this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And I think I've talked enough about my Patreon page on this, so I don't need to go much further, but the link will be displayed. And I'll see you guys next time.